So this is essentially the charging hub. They look magnificent. I gotta give them credit. Look at this charger though, it's so... Does that actually move up there? It does. Wow, okay, okay. Let's see if we can get in. Oh, we got in. going on another supercharging, well not supercharger, EV charging experience. Today I learned that a few days ago in Atlanta at the Mercedes-Benz headquarters they opened up their first set of DC fast chargers. They've partnered with ChargePoint and these are right outside of the Mercedes-Benz headquarters which is in Sandy Springs in Atlanta, Georgia. So not too far from us, about a 45 minute to an hour drive. And since we went to the first racetrack EV charger and the first, well, one of the first version four Tesla superchargers, the first in Atlanta, we might as well go to Mercedes-Benz first EV chargers. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And as soon as my queen's ready, we're gonna hit the road. All right, we are 45 minutes, 32 miles from Mercedes-Benz headquarters. One more time. 19 minutes, 9.1 miles away. So when you pull in, you go to the left here, and then you'll see this nice, see this nice Mercedes logo, and you go left, and then the chargers are right here. So we are here. I'm surprised. It looks like people are actually Yes, using these. They're pull-through stalls. That's pretty cool. I do like that. Which, unfortunately, of course, we can't charge here. But uh, we can still check them out. We gotta check them out. We're here. What would you look at that? No parking except while charging. So this is the chargers. Look at that. That's. They look magnificent. I gotta give them credit. Like these look very, very nice. Now these, of course, don't release. Oh, they do release without paying. Look at this charger, though. It's so... Does that actually move up there? It does. Wow. Okay, okay. Wow. Very, very unique. CCS plug here. Slides right in. So these are 400 kilowatt DC chargers. This is number eight, which there's also uh, right there. Number eight, seven, all the way down. But let me come back here. The top of these are all solar panels. So this is essentially the charging hub. The rooftop is all solar panels, all bright LEDs. The headquarters is like right here behind us. This actually looks really, really cool. And you got an emergency thing there. But uh, all the tiers, Mercedes. I wish I could charge here, but unfortunately I uh, can't charge here. There is a place over there. Let's see if we can go in it. So they are normal charge point chargers. Uh, you're literally able to uh, use plug and charge. You can tap your phone, you can tap your payment, whatever you need to do to get your 400 kilowatts of power. I love the lights. It's so bright. I dig it, I dig it. Oh, it's eight to eight. We're like, we might be able to get in. Let's see if we can get in. Oh, we got in. We're just before 30 minutes. I'm glad we got here when we did. Holy crap, this smells new. God, that leather sofa. <sighs> that new, new room smell. So we have a TV here. We have a little sitting area here. Look at this. All, I've never seen a snack machine like this. They like roll off. I literally want to get something just to watch this. <laughs> Very, very cool. So everything, uh, I'm curious. I got to know how much is, is this even operational? Yeah, $3 for everything, really. So yeah, $3 drink, $4 water. Of course, you know, water's got to be more expensive. Wow. 50 chewy. <laughs> Do you want a chewy? No. How much are the, uh, how much are the famous cookies? Those are my favorite thing that I've seen so far. Other than M&Ms, but they don't have regular M&Ms. Oh, candy, golly. Cookies. Famous. Oh, well they have an exclamation point. But those will do. Those are those are over here. Hold on. Alright, so we're going to uh how do you scroll? Okay. Uh where'd you get that? Cookies? Yeah. It's hard to see. It's very hard to see. 
So we'll add these to the cart, check out, and then a uh, credit card. Waiting for my card, okay. Validating payment. And then it should just, please payment rejected. Please, please try again. Because it only has Visa and MasterCard. For a split second, it shows Visa, MasterCard, Apple Pay, Google Pay. There we go. That's so that's what it was. It was, was trying to use an Amex. All right, payment approved. Perfect time for a cop. Oh, whoa. I thought it just rolled off. I mean, it does, but that is awesome. <laughs> this is the coolest vending machine I've ever seen. Oh, and they're cold. These are gonna be so good. All right, now that we're past this cool vending machine, uh, there's also, you're welcome. There's also a uh, coffee here. Maybe this touch screen's a little better. Stand yeah. For a receipt, you get a QR code. Uh, how much is a chocolate drink here? Oh yeah, same price, two fifty, three fifty. So they aren't really gouging for anything. And then uh, all of your utensils and stuff over here, very cool. Well, I'll be very happy when Tesla sets these up because Tesla's supposed to do something very similar to this. And just the nice couch, nice seats. I uh, really dig. Is this a touch screen? Yeah. What? Oh my God! Wow. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. No USB ports on the outlet. Very surprised at that. But the lights do look really, really high tech. Well, all right, my queen. I think we can uh, head out of here. You got your cookies? I got my cookies. They're in my pocket. Let's go eat some cookies. <laughs> well, this is the Mercedes Benz charging stations. 500 kilowatts, eight of them, super fast. I, uh, I think this is awesome. I hate that I can't plug in and charge, but it is what it is. I guess they were trying to get in there to close their deal on this EV, but very, very cool. So a lot of you are probably wondering why I did not charge my EV here. My 2018 Model 3 is not CCS enabled, so, well, it won't work on these chargers. I have to uh, go to Tesla and get the adapter and have them put some part on the car. Now, this is the first charging hub that they have released because, well, it's right outside the headquarters. Now, Mercedes-Benz is planning to make 400 of these charging hubs, becoming home to over 2,500 ChargePoint DC fast chargers. Now, this is all part of the Mercedes-Benz HPC in a network, which somewhere around here, there's power blocks that can house up to five power modules. Now, these will pull a full 500 kilowatts as long as there's only one person on each power block. So I think it's very similar to Tesla's in the terms of one and two are probably tied to one, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. And if there's one on each one, then you could get the full 500 kilowatts versus if there's two, they'll cut that in half. The cables are liquid cooled cables with some proprietary cooling technology that that ChargePoint has uh, created and then Mercedes, of course, partnered with them. Now granted, none of the uh, Mercedes-Benz cars can charge at 500 kilowatts. Actually, I don't think there's any EVs out right now that can charge at 500 kilowatts, but that's kind of besides the point. They do plan to have all these 2,500 chargers up though by the year 2030, which would be pretty good timing as more and more cars uh, continue to need chargers. It is a $1 billion investment from Mercedes-Benz and they're even partnering with Bucky's. Apparently uh, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, the Bucky's locations will get the charging hubs. I don't know if they'll have the charging little stations to go hang out in, although they should. And if I did mention, these are 100% renewable energy. It's using solar panels and probably batteries some kind of way to uh, basically make this 100% renewable charging. So very cool. Absolutely love what I'm seeing here. Let's give one last look. So the cool part is, it looks like you can actually see when one's in use. So like number two is where the Porsche just pulled in. So that one is a bit of blue showing that they're charging, but the rest of these are all green due to the fact that nobody's charging on them. The other seven locations are just normal back in or pull in stalls with the very last one being a pull through stall where if you have a trailer or something like that, you're able to easily pull through. I uh, think this will do it for our video. What do you think, my queen? These are lovely. I hope Tesla does something like the waiting room. They are planning to make like a drive-in theater place out in California. 
and I think it'll have a similar waiting room. But uh, I think these are really cool. I came over here because like I said, we did a lot of other first EV chargers and Atlanta seems to be a big area for that. So we're getting some of the first cool stuff here. And this is the first one from Mercedes-Benz. So we had to come over and check it out. I believe it opened yesterday on Wednesday, but uh, not 100% certain. I can say that as fast as this car charges at just 250 kilowatts on version three superchargers, one time we went to Bucky's and by the time we used the restroom and got our drinks and checked out, the car was ready before we were. So at 500 kilowatts, half a megawatt, I just, it would be almost too fast to charge. Like you wouldn't really get time to use the restroom and your car would be ready. Although it'd be cut in half if there's two cars plugged in. So you'd get a little more time if there's someone charging next to you, but. Yeah, I don't know if it would be too much of an issue if there's nothing to do. Like. That's when it would be the, the most The ones important. where there's absolutely, you can't even go to the bathroom, like the mall we went to. Yes. Everything was closed. We had to sit in the car. It was, those quicker, the better maybe, but that makes majority sense. of the time you need to stretch your legs and you need to tinkle. Yeah. Yeah. I can't really, I, I question why version four Tesla superchargers are not as fast as these. You know, they're only supposed to max out at 350, but also I think that that's probably for a reason. I feel like it's battery chemistry. It's, there's gotta be a reason that Tesla didn't want to put out version four chargers that were 500 kilowatts when, when, you know, charge point apparently has that. So mm -hmm. There's got to be a reason behind it. I don't know what it is. My guess is battery technology and besides the fact that you need to be able to use the restroom. But that'll do it for our checkout of this Mercedes-Benz charging hub. I think it was really cool. Glad we got to go in that area. It's only open 8 to 8. Uh, they should... They should change that some kind of way, I feel. Like, people are definitely going to be here past 8 p.m. They would definitely want to get some snacks. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe they should try to link it with ChargePoint to where if you've got an active charging session, you could, like, tap your phone and be able to get in there. Something. Call yeah. me, Mercedes. I got an idea for you. <laughs> That'll do it for this video, though. Click like. Click subscribe. Indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. We're going to go eat because it's 740 and we haven't had dinner yet. Yeah. So we'll see you in our next video. Deuces. Bye.